This is Morgan Hazelwood, back again with more writing tips and writerly musings. Today, I'm here to talk about picking a point of view. Every writer is different. Some writers are planners and come into the story knowing exactly what the plot is, who the main character is, where they're coming from, and where they're going. Others plan a little lighter, knowing a basic plot outline and the general characters. And some just make the whole thing up as they go along. But, you know, one thing is generally true, no matter what type of writer you are, there's going to be a point of view character or characters. So let's talk about this whole point of view thing. Most stories are told in first or third person. In first person, you have characters talking about things like, I went to the store, blah, blah, blah. In third person, that same scene would be more, she went to the store to blah, blah, blah. For stylized, artsy, or choose-your-own-adventure books, we get that second point of view. We didn't just skip it. Um, otherwise known as, you went to the store. Now, some stories are closer, quote-unquote, than others. What do I mean by closer? Well, if the story isn't close, you can't know what the characters are thinking. When you're in third person, this kind of looks like... Uh, let's see. Main character thought that so-and-so was a jerk because blah blah blah. And that sort of thing. So, if I was going to take that and put that in first person close, it would be a little more simplified with less hedging with so-and-so was a jerk. Why did they always... whatever. But point of view is more than just which pronoun I, she, or you to use and how close you are in their heads. Uh, some stories are told from one point of view and others have up to a multitude of point of view characters. And <coughs> George R. R. Martin. <coughs> so let's talk about picking this point of view. When writing a story, there are many factors that go into picking the right, both point of view and point of view character or characters. First up, you've got what genre are you writing? Different genres have different expectations. Obviously, these are not written in stone, but YA tends to be in first person. Adult science fiction and fantasy is often third person omniscient, like a narrator who can fill in world-building gaps in history and stuff. Read in your genre to know what the expectations are. So step two for picking your point of view, how intimate is your story? First person is a lot more intimate than third, but easier to throw the reader out of the story when you get a detail wrong. Now, lots of action and dialogue is great for third person. Mental turmoil often works better in first person. Now, if your story deals with a lot of trauma, think hard about which way you want to go. Do you want to draw the reader in or get them a little distance? Third, whose story are you telling? If the character is foremost in your planning or the most well-developed part of your story, you probably already know who should be telling the story. Probably. Sometimes who you think the story is about isn't the main character at all. Sometimes things happening behind the quote-unquote scenes can be just as exciting as the things happening on the main stage. You know, the world-building epic -y stuff. Fourth thing to think about when picking point of view is what does your reader need to know? Sometimes the plot needs the audience to know something that the main character won't. So add a point of view. Fifth, are you sure that your point of view character is the right choice for your world? Think about your intended point of view character in relation to what the story is actually talking about. 
when you are exploring a real world setting and culture through the eyes of an insider or an outsider, you can do that wrong, especially if this real world culture is not your native culture. Now, I'm not telling you to quote, stay in your lane or anything like that, but this story needs to be told with open eyes, respect for the culture you're exploring, and definitely consult people from that culture and background. There are going to be nuances that no amount of study will ever be able to convey. So just be careful and do your research. And that's basically it. Do you have a favorite point of view to read? Is it different when you're writing? And how do you pick a point of view character or characters? And that's all for today. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this episode, hit that subscribe button and share it with all your friends. It goes a long way towards helping people find me. And I'll be back again next Monday with more writing tips and writerly musings. Bye-bye.